there was a report about uh, perhaps a radio signal detected from Proxima yes, Centauri. Ter- what do you make of that signal? Oh, I think it's uh, some what? Australian guy with a cell phone next to the observatory or something like that, because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was the Parkes telescope in Australia. Okay, well, uh, I was like, why but, Australian guy? Yeah, okay. So it's no, human-created noise. Yeah, <laughs> which is always the worry, because actually yes. the same observatory, the Parkes Observatory, uh, detected a couple of years ago some signal, and then they realized that it comes back at lunch lunchtime. Yes. And they said, <laughs> okay, what could it be? And then they figured out that it must be the microwave oven in the observatory because someone was opening it before it finished, and it was creating this radio signal that they detected with the telescope every lunchtime. Uh, so just a, a cautionary remark. Yeah. But the reason I think it's human-made without getting to the de- technical details, is because of this very short window by which we were transmitting radio signals out of the lifetime of the Earth. Mm-hmm. You know, as I said, 100 years out of four and a half billion years that the yes. Earth existed. So what's the chance that another civilization, a twin civilization of ours, is transmitting radio signals exactly at the time that we are looking with our radio telescopes? Yeah. 10 to really? the minus yeah. seven, you know. so. And the other, the other argument I have that is, uh, is that they detected it in a very narrow band of frequencies, and that makes it, una- you know, it cannot be through natural processes, a very narrow band, just like some uh, radio transmissions that we produce. Um, but if it were to come from the habitable zone, from a transmitter on the surface of Proxima B, this is yes. the planet that orbits Proxima Centauri, then I calculated that the frequency would drift uh, through the Doppler effect. You know, just like when you hear a siren uh, on the street, you know, when the car approaches you, it has a different pitch than when it goes, recedes away from you. That's the Doppler effect. Mm. And when the planet orbits the star, Proxima Centauri, you would see or detect a different frequency when the planet approaches us as compared to when it recedes. So there should be a frequency drift just because of the motion mm-hmm. of the planet. And I calculated that it, it, it must be much bigger than, than observed. So it cannot just be a transmitter sitting on the planet and sending in our direction a radio signal unless they want to cancel the Doppler effect, but then they need to know about us because in a different direction, it will not be canceled. Only in our direction, they can cancel it per- perfectly. So there is this direction of Proxima Centauri, but I have a problem imagining a transmitter on the surface of a planet in the habitable zone emitting it. Uh, But my main issue is really with the likelihood, given what we know about ourselves. Right, in terms of the duration of the civilization. The Copernican principle, yeah. 